Hi, I'm Rob McIsaac. Hi, and I'm John Turpo, Patient Experience Specialist. And John and I are going to talk today about three things you should know about patient experience. All right, so Rob, the first thing you need to know about patient experience is that on a daily basis, we receive uh, feedback from our patients and families based on the care and service they've received in the hospital. So for example, last year alone, we received almost 1,600 individual pieces of contact from patients and families. I don't want it to sound cliche, but you know, those, those pieces of feedback which aren't positive, um, they're really opportunities, aren't exactly. they? Exactly. To, so we're, I mean, in, in some respects, we value those as much or more uh, than the compliments. We absolutely do. I mean, you know, it's, it's from those questions and concerns that we identify where are the opportunities to inform our patients, um, get them uh, to where they need to be, uh, get them the additional information perhaps that they need to process uh, as they go through uh, their care pathway. So Rob, the second thing you should know about our patient experience office is that we support a number of projects related to our patient pillar. So John, maybe talk a little bit about, so where do the projects come from? Like are they all based on patient experience or do you get projects from other sources? Yeah, so some of it certainly comes from the data we receive from patients and families, but ultimately definitely alternative processes as well, other sources of feedback. So for example, CQI identifies a number of quality opportunity improvement areas that we can work on. And, uh, and so that helps drive us in terms of the project work that we try and support. Okay, so Rob, the third thing that you need to know about our patient experience office is that we support our patient family advisor program. So, for example, we have 27 patient family advisors who last year alone, for example, contributed over 465 hours of their time and efforts to support us on some of the quality improvement initiatives that we're doing across the hospital. I often think, you know, I see the hours uh, uh, of work that patient advisors put in. What do you, like, what would you say their motivation is for, for doing that? So it's a great question, and maybe even better than having me explain it, why don't we ask one of our advisors, Jill? Um, well, I was a patient, obviously, and um, that was my first real experience in the hospital setting. And um, for me, it just became um, really apparent what the difference it was when you're heard as a patient uh, compared to when um, Healthcare is kind of from the top down. So when I was asked to come back, it almost seemed like um, just, just a natural step to actually even my patient care experience to come back and to help in any way I could. Healthcare, like it can be such an intimidating environment. So is it hard to speak up when you're working with those people to say, hey, look, there's something you're not thinking about here? Uh, no, because I know that the perspective that I have is very valuable. And I know that it's valuable, the patient's voice, not just for the patient, but for the healthcare in general. It was great speaking with John today from the Office of Patient Experience. And I think, you know, that work uh, is as important or more important today than it's ever been here at the hospital. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the Office of Patient Experience uh, takes feedback, and I think even just that, uh, having our patients know that we're here and we're listening and we're taking their feedback seriously, uh, that's super important just in and of itself. Uh, but beyond that, um, we take that feedback and we try to uh, use it uh, through the Office of Patient Experience to make a better hospital system uh, here at Hamilton Health Sciences. Uh, that improvement work uh, for sure is generated uh, and acted on by the Office of Patient Experience, but um, those people are also helping us in a wide variety of corporate initiatives uh, to help make things better. Um, the last uh, segment today where we spoke with Jill I thought was uh, really um, powerful uh, and enlightening. Uh, I thought her remarks were uh, really engaging um, and thoughtful. So. Uh, for me, uh, what Jill uh, said today really shows the power of patient advisors and why it's super important that we're listening to our patients uh, and engaging them uh, in designing uh, new processes uh, uh, and new approaches here at Hamilton Health Sciences. So that's it for uh, this segment and uh, we'll see you next time.